The outcome of this special election is tonight's top story at 11. Arguably, the most talked about measure of the night comes out of Josephine County. The public safety measure there is the very latest attempt to raise money for jail services, the Juvenile Justice Center and other safety services. And as you can see, similar uh, levies have failed in the past. But tonight it appears voters are breaking that trend. NBC 5's Elizabeth Ruiz is live in Josephine County at this hour with a look at what this all means for the community. Elizabeth. Art, the results currently show 52% in favor of the five-year levy and nearly 48% against it. More than 40% of voters turned out in Josephine County to weigh in on this controversial issue. Some of those against it believe the levy is propaganda and that the money won't go where it needs to go. Others in favor of it say the levy would help keep Josephine County a safer place by the Sheriff's Department having the ability to hold more people in the jail. You know, I have to I have to pay my property taxes, so my property taxes will go up, and I'll just have to live with it. And uh, you know, I just like I said, I just don't believe that that they'll use the money the way they're supposed to. Personally, I would be relieved, and then also uh, feeling safer around downtown. Commissioner Dan DeYoung says he's very happy with the results so far because he thinks it's a good step in a positive direction. But he says this is not the end of the road, just a bridge to the actual solution to fund the sheriff's department long term. Now the county commissioners, the board's got to go to work and the sheriff's got to go to work and uh, we're going to really work on that trust issue that we've had for a long time. It's been, I think, been uh, holding down uh, a lot of things in Joseph County for a long time. Commissioner Dan DeYoung says while the results aren't complete yet, he thinks there will be a high morale in the courthouse tomorrow and he's looking forward to going to work. Live in Grants Pass, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.